One of the things I love about the production assignments we get here and just the work that we get to do is just the the variety of scale that mm -hmm. we have access to. Mm -hmm. So like right now I'm working on obviously this this show at the Yale Rep, which is this gigantic affair with a huge budget and a, a big production. Mm -hmm. uh, but at the same time I'm I'm doing uh, you know a tiny tiny show at the Yale Cabaret across the street <laughs> down the street and it's marrying those two practices and everything in between. What we're developing here, which I think is really great, is a consistency of practice. Mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. So that you're bringing the same kind of level of production focus, keep, you know, regular meetings, keeping track of information, understanding where the money goes to the smallest projects to the biggest projects. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and so having a kind of very systematized and effective means of approaching each production, I found to be great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, to just really sort of, I think it makes you ask those questions about your artistry is how do you, how do you do good work on a $50 budget? Mm -hmm. And how do you, how do you do that same good work um, on a, you know, $50,000? Yeah, exactly. yeah. <laughs> I always liked working on new plays and device work. Mm -hmm. I was actually a playwright before becoming a sound designer. I didn't know that. Yeah. <laughs> So uh, somehow, and I didn't like really like ask Daran or anything, but somehow I got um, opportunity to work with, I think all the graduating playwrights mm. and also playwrights in my year at the cabaret. So I think one of the great thing um, here is that you get to meet those playwrights because. Mm -hmm. A lot of times, you know, plays exist, and you, yeah. you know, you don't develop a play with playwrights in the room. One of the best things about being here is the opportunity to develop all these relationships, um, to work with so many different kinds mm -hmm. of people. Like you're gonna be saying, even when the projects are challenging, sometimes I find those to be as educational or even more educational because you know maybe. It's not a bad situation, but you're trying to figure out, wait, I, my communication style is different from this artist. Mm -hmm. How do we work together? I mean, it's this kind of um, very safe environment in which to navigate all those sorts mm -hmm. of things and learn to be a better, not just artist in your own practice, but better collaborator in general. There's a sort of equalizing factor mm -hmm. at the School of Drama where mm -hmm. we're all in the same, in the same ship together. And uh, you'll find yourself like hanging lights next to a director or yeah. a theater manager <laughs> who in five years, 10 years, may be in a position to, to, to give you a call or, or mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. it's this, we're sort of all on the same uh, playing field, which mm -hmm. is, which is really nice.